Hey guys, Behaviour1337 here today bringing you today's video on how to root any Android device. For this, you will need to download the WinRAR file in the description, which is only a small file. Okay, so when you open the first WinRAR file, what you're going to see is these two files. One is a .exe file and one is an APK file, which is an install file for a phone. But if you try and run it on a computer, it's not going to load, it's just going to give you a fail. Because it's obviously for Android devices. <clears throat> so, yeah, here we go. Um, so basically, all you're going to want to do is just extract these, like so. Now you have this Android root force and rootbeerswag.apk. It's only a very small file, really. And basically, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to put this. So firstly, you're going to connect your phone. Then once your phone or Android device is connected to your computer, you're going to want to go to your computer click the device then click phone storage and drag this into the phone and just put it just in the phone storage don't put it in any other files just phone storage then once it's in there you're good to go okay so first you're gonna get this little welcome screen just click agree and then it's gonna bring you to this screen the main screen and basically you have your options here and the little settings thing just nothing really and uh, firstly you if you want a permalink, which is so that if you turn your phone off, your phone will still be rooted, then obviously check this, which I will guarantee, pretty much guarantee everyone wants it permalinked. And then this GForce just makes it easier to have customised. It'll basically install an app, and then in your settings, you can customise like your UI and your users and stuff. You can create new users and different settings, customise a lot more. And you're going to need software mod for this. Um, and this package is optional. This is just to get like tethering from your phone to your computer or your computer to your phone for free instead of having to pay. And you don't have to check this, but it's just always better to reboot. So check them all, really. It's up to you. And then you're going to want to click Link Software Now. Then you get this little thing and you're going to click OK. And you'll get this. I will now speed this up and wait until it's finished. OK, so it's done now and I'm just going to click Continue. This is an actually installed it to your phone. It's not installed anything to your phone yet because your phone shouldn't be connected at this point. It doesn't matter if it is, but it doesn't have to be. So you know, don't worry about that. Let's click OK. Now we've got our settings all customized. It's I think these are the, these are the settings that it's going to um, be using. And now step one is just load to load the root beer file, but because mine's my phone's not connected yet, I'm going to have to connect it. So I'll be back when my phone's connected. Okay guys, so now as you can see, I've connected my phone and you can see this is the internal storage of my HTC Desire 500 and here is the root beer swag file. And this does work for pretty much any Android. I will leave any Android device, sorry. Um, I will leave what it works with in the description so you can check that out and see if it will work with your phone, which it should do. So now we're gonna click load root beer and this will connect to our well, not connect to our phone, but you'll browse f um, storage from your computer and check to see if you can connect to the HD Desire and do kind of a test run, run it in the silent ghost mode kind of thing. So we're going to load root beer. And it'll say loading, please wait. Just click OK. And there we go. And now it's going to use that setting style. And as you can see, our settings of the settings of this has loaded. So this doesn't really mean anything to you guys, but really, um, you know, it's just the settings kind of file. And... Now we're going to connect our Android device. As you can see, you're going to need USB debugging turned on in the developer options of your phone. And I'm just going to click device. And it's connected successfully. If, it, if it, you do get an error, just try um, unplugging your phone, plugging it back in, and then trying again. Okay, and now you're going to want to start routing. And then when you start routing, basically what's going to happen is it's going to come up with when it gets to like the end it's going to come up on your phone screen with a black screen with like code and stuff coming on your screen so before you do this i would recommend backing up your phone because you will lose all your stuff it will reset your phone so just back up everything and then start rooting so i'm going to start rooting now and then i'll just come back i'll skip to when it's just ready ready so anyway guys i'll see you in a minute
Okay guys, as you can see, it's finished and basically now I'm just going to load up software so that you can see my phone screen on screen because it's much easier to do that and it's much more HD kind of thing. So I'll be back in a second guys. Okay guys, so I've loaded up the software and as you can see, here is my phone screen at the minute. It's currently going crazy with code and um, basically it will stay like this for like... 10-15 minutes depending on your phone speed really because it's just kind of putting in the files trying to get root access and just repeating it really just just getting root access and then basically once it's done it will just boot up your phone like normal and then if you go into the settings then just if you've got like your UI customizer and then it says custom packages then you know it's rooted and then you can test with root applications and all that kind of stuff and just enjoy really so as you can see here here is the code coming on my screen it, my fully screen is just like black with this text. I cannot do anything, but make sure your phone doesn't die while it's doing this because it could screw your phone up. And um, I don't want to be reliable for that. So, anyway, guys, this has been Baby1337 showing you guys how to root any Android phone. So, if this worked for you, please be sure to subscribe. And if you have any problems with this, then please let me know because, you know, I can fix it for you guys. And, you know, I always want it to work for you guys. So, anyway, guys, just like comment subscribe do whatever and peace